What is happening, 7-3 fans? Welcome back to the 7-3 Garage. Your favorite 7-3 guy, Brandon, here. Uh, in the truck heading over to uh, actually go help out Frankie. Um, we'll tell that story when we get to the shop, but had a little uh, kind of a mishap with his truck. Some, nothing too crazy, we're gonna go ahead and handle that. But uh, <clears throat> a little quick update with mine. I don't know if you guys have seen, or I know I've done on my Instagram page. You guys don't follow me, at 97 underscore PSD on Instagram. I post a lot more frequently on there. But uh, this is the full LED dash, and I actually put dash lights in the AC control. So for those of you guys are interested in doing that, I got a pretty cool video, nice, short, and sweet on how to get that done for your truck. Really easy and cheap modification, but uh, go ahead and check that out. So well, we should be at Frankie's shop in about 10 minutes or so, and we'll tell you what the heck is going on. sensor I had a, the truck had a really weird intermittent stalling issue and I just bought a brand new motorcraft sensor figuring hey let's just switch it out and see what see what it does and man it made a difference wow <laughs> Frank A well we're here What are you doing in here, man? Just telling everybody on the way over here what uh, kind of trouble you're getting into. Oh, I forgot the most important part. We'll get it in a second. Are you gonna clean this thing? Holy smokes. I'll clean it after it doesn't leave any cooling. So, Frank's already at it. Yeah. Man, repping Florida High Performance? Didn't do much. You know Eric or something? <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Nope. Guys, go check out Eric's page. I'll put his uh, link in the description nope. down there. Eric's got a sweet, uh, I guess late model anything shop that does everything. So yeah. um, let me go get the coolant and we'll tell you what is going on here. I'm gonna turn the camera on and let Frankie explain what happened, but uh, <clears throat> not the most fortunate circumstances, but it has to happen either way. So at least we found it this way. So Frank, what happened to this thing? Yep, so water pump was leaking, right? Mm -hmm. No big deal. So I figured I'd switch out the water pump. I'll put a Motocraft water pump in there. Yep, I mean, you sent me pictures of that. No big deal. We are gonna do a video on that, but couldn't do it with you know time and didn't have the time to do it. So finished everything. Went to go hook the hose up, <laughs> tighten, the, tighten the clamp down, and uh, led the whole system. She said, suck it. Yep, and <laughs> here's all the pieces. The coolant just started leaking out of there, so, you know, this plastic just gets dry and then snaps, and yep. that's where we're at. And so. that's probably the the original radiator, too. I bet, I, I bet I you that's say, original to the truck. Yeah, so. I would say so, so. And I got fresh coolant, and I cleaned the bucket out, and we're going to try and... So we're cleaned out. I brought some extra stuff just yeah. in case, but we're, we're basically ready to go here. So I'm going to set the camera up and give you guys a quick little time lapse of uh, us swapping this out, because it's not really that interesting, but you guys get to see us work. you guys but that i think was a record setting uh radiator change that was a super easy change we were going to stop and actually show you guys the radiator but there's really nothing special just an oe spec radiator went right in so we're just going to top this thing off with some coolant fire it up make sure we don't have any leaks and that's really about it so uh this is kind of short and sweet before we're done with this video um brian jellich actually was up racing uh at Rudy's Fall Truck Show. I don't know if any of you guys were out there if you saw his truck, but I did get some videos. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the races. He actually qualified number two 
um, in the 590 index class and eighth mile racing. So the truck runs really strong. So I'm gonna actually, at the end of this video, we'll, we'll uh, do our goodbyes and then I'll, I'll actually play some of those videos for you guys to enjoy. So uh, make sure you stay tuned to the end for that. The other thing I wanna point out too, if you guys noticed been wearing these hats, uh, 73 Garage Hatch, jellyboatperformance.com has them in stock, so get yours today. Truck is dialed in, we just idled it for, uh, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes, got it up to temp a little bit. Frank's gonna drive it tonight, and obviously it's his daily driver, so he's gonna be driving it again this week. Back to its normal routine, we got our nice fair share of carbon monoxide and benzene in our lungs, so uh, we're all set for the rest of the week here. Oh, yeah. Uh, but that's all we got guys really short sweet video. I just wanted to post something up for you guys uh, Also really wanted to show you guys I know I just spoke about Brian's truck racing at the track so really awesome to see what a 7.3 powered race truck can do so um, I'm gonna get right to that as always guys. We appreciate the support. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching If you haven't seen the last video go ahead and check it out really cool part. We put on my truck um, I think that's it Frank anything else Smash the like button smash the like subscribe. button share subscribe <laughs> all that good stuff. All right guys. That's all we got See you guys real soon. My name's Brandon, that's Frank. This is the 73 Garage. We'll see you next time.